What's up everyone, I'm Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the 6 reasons to buy the new Moto E5 Plus. Now every phone has its own pros and cons, so in the same way, these are the best things or the pros or the reasons to buy the Moto E5 Plus. If you want to know about the bad things, check out my video on problems with the Moto E5 Plus, link will be in the description. Now with that said, the first reason to buy this phone would be the Moto brand. Now unless you're really a huge Motorola fan, there isn't any good reason to buy this phone considering all the excellent alternatives we have. So if you're a fan of the Moto brand, so that might be a huge reason to buy this phone. Now the next reason to buy this phone would definitely be its display. This phone packs a huge 6 inch IPS display with HD plus resolution, which Moto calls it the Max Vision display. Just like the previous Moto phones, display is actually pretty good, sunlight visibility is great, it's good for regular usage and even for watching videos. I just wish it had a full HD plus resolution. Now the third reason to buy this phone would be the battery. This phone packs a massive 5000 mAh battery and can last you even 3 days if you're a normal user. And no matter how you use it, it will definitely last you more than a day for sure. Just for a quick reference, it takes about 4 hours to charge the phone completely from 0 to 100%. Now the next reason to buy this phone would be for the pure stock Android. Now I know some people love pure stock Android and some people don't, but here's the fact. Stock Android is simple, lightweight, doesn't offer you any extra features like MIUI or the Samsung phones, but it doesn't lag either. So once again, if you are a very normal user who uses very limited number of applications, then this phone will run smoothly for a very long time. Now the next reason to buy this phone would be the cameras. On the rear, this phone packs a single 12 megapixel camera with laser resisted focus and on the front, it has a 5 megapixel camera with a dedicated LED flash. Now other phones do offer you dual camera setup, portrait mode and other fancy stuff while this phone offers you simple things. With the cameras it has, it does take some pretty good pictures using the front and rear cameras. These are the sample shots for a quick reference. It even offers electronic image stabilization for rear camera video recording and the front camera footage also looks pretty decent. So on the whole, cameras aren't the best in the price segment, doesn't offer you a lot of features but it does have good cameras. Now the final reason to buy this phone would be the complete package. Now if you are a very normal user who is looking for a phone that runs smoothly for a long time, a bigger 5000 mAh battery, good front and rear cameras, electronic image stabilization for video recording and a massive display, maybe not for gaming, then this is definitely a great choice. As an alternative, yes we have the ASUS Zenfone Max Pro M1, but the fingerprint scanner on that phone is slightly slow and the front facing camera isn't that good. Now I'm not saying this is the best phone, but for a particular type of user, this might be the best phone in this price segment. Now it also has some other good things like good memory management, a dedicated SD card slot where you can add an SD card up to 128GB. It also supports adaptive storage where you can install apps on the SD card just like the previous Moto phones. It also has a front facing speaker. It's not super loud but it's good enough. It also comes with a front facing flash so in low lighting conditions, it does help a little in taking better selfies. So guys those were the reasons to buy the Moto E5 Plus. Now what's your reason to buy this phone or not buy this phone? Do let me know by commenting below this video and if you are planning to buy this phone, use the link in the description, it really helps the channel. If you want us to make any specific video on this phone or any other phone out there, tweet out to us with the hashtag AskGreedyTech on Twitter and we will try to make it as soon as possible. I'm Nikhil from GreedyTech signing off, have a nice day.